Hey guys, Brownie here, and welcome to another episode of Level Up. Uh, I know Adventures Log this time, and um, it's basically going to be similar to the previous one where I talk over while I train. Except for my will have a few things to announce. So at the moment, I'm just training cooking. My aim was to my might try and get like 99ish maybe, but my main focus is uh, construction at the moment. Um, so yeah. Currently, I I am 60 uh, cooking, started on 35. I've used about like 2,000 lobsters. Let me see. No, 3,071. So, yeah. Um, so, guys, I've got 80 construction. I may go and show you my house now. I'll just get my runes from my bloody clustered bank. Where is it? Guys, while I'm getting this, I want to um, tell you about uh, forums. I don't know if you guys remember Vault from Turn 6 Gate. I'm sure you do, because most of my subscriber base is from Turn 6 Gate. So anyway, um, he's made a new forums, uh, similar to, to 2006 Gate, but this time it's for 2007 RuneScape. It's, it's kind of like a fan site. It hasn't got any... Um, it's not like a private server or anything. It's just a forum which I really enjoy being on. I urge you to check it out. It's called Rune H. Oh no, 2007HQ.com. I'll leave the channel link in the description. I mean, sorry, the website link. Anyway, so um, as you can see, we're in my house. I have made it pretty nice. Um, it's my garden. Formal garden. Let me show you to my uh, throne room. I need to have my thrones, but those cost. Oh. They cost so much. Like I think you need like two marble blocks per one. If I want to get the best one, it's like four. So let me turn on um PvP dungeon challenge mode, whatever it's called. Go down here. Oh also um, most of the stuff I needed A6 construction to build, but I used my crystal saw, which I did eyes of this one. Eyes of glory or something like that. And also I did oh so I made um the teak shelves gilded so I can basically get gilded tea. See, this is my dungeon right now. It's got tons of stuff. In well, it hasn't got that much stuff, but it's got lots of traps around the floor which you can't see. Um, here's one of the bosses, my cow fight soldier, and my pretty camp shields. Oh yeah, because I did um, I did Lost City, then went to the Herald Guy in Falador, got my crest, and now it looks pretty sick. Here's one of my ubelet, ube, I don't know how to pronounce them, obelet things, an altar down in the dungeon to oh sugar. Oh my god, I'm getting owned. To uh, get your pro back. Go down here. Another ubilet. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce them. Anyway, here's another one where I've got a rockner and a baby red dragon. So if you go in here, you're going to get raped. And down here is another red dragon and a demon and a tea chest. I may host some uh, uh, house parties sooner or later. And when you kill these, I'll put like say 100k in the chest. If you kill them, open the chest, you get 100k, which is really cool. Actually, no, I think you kill it, it drops a key, and you get it. Yeah, anyway, I'm not quite sure. So um, this is that's my dungeon. Um, I removed my port room down here. I'll show you where it is now. Go through here. Yep, yeah, here's my gilded altar. Oh yeah, this is how I make money nowadays. I basically rent out my gilded altar. People pay twenty. People pay twenty-five k to sixty k, and they use that. Uh, yeah. Here is my altar room. Um, yeah. No wait, sorry, port room, not altar room. My lectern, lectern, whatever you want to call it. Um, up here is my glory teleport, which is I always come here just to use that. Lumber painting and map. You can get them from the Herald Guy in Falador Castle as well. So what else have I been doing? Um, I've been trying to get all stats above 20. So as you can see, I've got my uh, hunter to 20 and farming to 20. Also, uh, well, uh, to add on to that, I, I've been trying to get all stats to like a round number, so either 0 or 5. Uh, Slayer I still need to get, and um, like 1k XP or 40 smithing. Um, not including combat obviously because uh prayer i'm not gonna get any higher because i'm like because i'm an in the ship here but to be honest i have screwed up big time because if i go on to i need to do nature's spirit nature's spirit yeah and that gives you like 2k um i want to give you 2k what's it called uh 2k defense xp 
And if I get there now, I'll level up. And that's not what I want. So I basically got really impatient at the start, trained up my defense, and now I'm a failed initiate here. So that's not what I wanted. Oh yeah, another thing I want to talk to you guys about is farming. Okay, I found a really, really, really quick way. Sorry, so as I was saying, I found a... Oh, my brother just came in, sorry. So um, I found a really quick way to train farming. Basically, um, as you can see, I'm 20 farming. You can't. Now you can. Um, this is... I got this up in like 10 minutes or so. Basically, in Falador, you can trade a woman um, by the farming patch. And you can buy uh, like oak trees, yew trees, maple trees, whatever you want to buy. Like all bagged plant stuff. And all you have to do is get a watering can, fill it up, remove these trees, and plant it again with one, one, of, uh, one of your bagged plants. It costs 15k per, per, per oak tree, which is one I did. So it's, I'd say it's around 90k XP an hour in farming, but you're also, actually no, not 90k, it's around 60k XP per hour in farming, but it's a lot of bloody money. It's like 1.3 mil an hour, so if you've got money and you can do that, then do it, remove tree, uh, and just add it, go on, add it, uh, build it again, remove it. You don't need to wait any time, so it's really, go really good. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my um, episode of Adventures Log. Uh, be sure to check out 2007hq.com. Uh, peace.